talking once again about those cute little amiibo. Really attractive on the outside, but they seem to have some really dark properties to them. Now, if they're not kicking ass at a tournament, then they're breaking the law. Um, an amiibo manages to open a gate to a train station in Russia. I don't understand <laughs> what I just said, but I'm going to read through this anyways. Some of you dudes might have seen this once again, probably yesterday. Forgive me, I'm doing my best to be on top of these as much as I can, but this one, I don't know. I, I mean, these Amiibo, man, it, it seems like these things have some really odd NFC capabilities in them. And it's definitely NFC, but this one manages to open a gate. Like, okay, so anyways, Amiibo are not just for games, guys. They hold some extra abilities as well. Take the Samus Amiibo, for instance, which apparently opens the Moscow Metro ticket gate. I'm playing around a bit here, but it does in fact look like the Samus Amiibo worked in this situation. Redditor Edskin posted the photo just above the Vine clip below an hour or so ago to back up his claim. It looks pretty damn legitimate to me, so let's take a look here at this Vine. And there we go, it works. Holy shit. Why does an Amiibo open up a fucking train gate? And there you have it. That that's basically it. <laughs> I, I'm I'm okay. So now I'm wondering. You know, I mean, now I'm really wondering because if if an amiibo could open up a train gate like this, then what other illegal possibilities do there exist for Nintendo figurines? Like I'm wondering, can you get this thing to steal a bike? Can it perform a home invasion? Can can, can you rob a bank with this shit? <laughs> <laughs> is this the new generation Nintendo? <laughs> is this your intentions here? Because holy shit. I mean, all right, I'm guessing that maybe maybe Nintendo will release a fucking patch or something. <laughs> Cuz how does this happen? <laughs> the dude opened the fucking gate with the damn amiibo. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I swear, it's like Smash Brothers comes out and there's just a plethora of crazy stuff that's endless with this game. This is hilarious, man. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have content to talk about for days to you guys because it seems like there's never a break with any of this stuff. If it isn't the Samus Amiibo with two goddamn guns on it, then it's the fact that you can use that Samus Amiibo to illegally enter a public facility that's meant for you to pay. Like, that, that is insane. You know, and it's funny, I, I don't have my hands on an Amiibo yet, but this is damn sure convincing me. If, you know, <laughs> if an Amiibo gives me a fucking free pass to just get on public transportation, then screw buying a ticket. I mean, I, I was gonna buy myself a monthly Metro card when I got paid this month, but I ain't doing it. <laughs> I ain't doing it. There's no need, man. All you gotta do is buy yourself that Samus Amiibo. That's $15 right there. Boom, you're good. If you live in Soviet Russia, you are solid right now. This isn't even a freaking video advertising. This isn't even a news video anymore. This is just a life hack. Get yourself an Amiibo if you live in Russia, you'll be fine. Anyways guys, what do you think about this crazy story? I, I find it hilarious how people manage to find these crazy applications for the game. People buying games of Smash Wii U that are just totally, it, it's crazy. I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. This thing is really low, I gotta raise that. There we go.